So I'm walking outside and I'm doing a little video because a lot of clients who I help out with their dog sometimes seems to overthink things and sometimes they ask me for what would you do or what's the best way to do this or what's the best way to do that and then I ask them always the question what would you do in my situation because a lot of people are not thinking for themselves they thinking oh he's a dog trainer so he knows everything he won't struggle with his dogs and stuff like that but that is not the case because every dog trainer has a dog where he struggles with something right so um, also dog trainers are not perfect and the big problem is that when you always follow the opinions about a dog trainer and don't think about the way you handle your dog yourself is that you might do someday some things with your dog or you use some strategies with your dog where you in the end are thinking oh why do i did this to my dog that is my experience my personal experience uh, from the past that a dog trainer um, decided to correct my dog really hard and uh, afterwards i was thinking why did i give him the lead in this situation so this is your i hopefully you take this as food uh, for thought because most of the time when you go to your heart when you don't overthink it in your head and you go to your heart and you ask yourself okay what is the best answer to my problem or to my answer to my question then you will get a lot of insights for yourself what is the best thing you can do with your dog because you know you know your dog the, the best right and you are with your um, fellow with your dog 24 7 so you know what's best for your dog so don't ask your dog trainer every question you have how do i solve this because when you are creative and when you are going to journal it for yourself and let's say you are going to ask yourself this question okay what is the best thing what i could do what is the best way I feel about it, how I can solve this problem with my dog, if you're facing anything, then you will come up with some real good answers because you know what's right for your dog, right? So don't, uh, don't think that the trainer is everything because sometimes you get some bad advice. I have seen it a lot with clients in my opinion so who am i but um, there are some bad advices for sure and when you look at the internet you will definitely will see some bad advices but stay focused at yourself and ask yourself how can i solve this problem this is for now i hopefully this uh, gives you some insights and uh, see you in the next one